I think it's been one of the most wonderful rides that uh, any actor could ever have to be around Terry, who has a, an incredible mind. It's exploding all the time with images and thoughts and ideas. And sometimes when you're actually on set and in the middle of a scene, he will come walking up and say, uh, don't say that. Don't say that at all. Say this, and then he'll tell you a, a sentence to say. And if it comes out all right, he'll say, uh, okay, okay, we're going to use that. His mind is so fertile. He has such a wonderful imagination. It was impossible to get into his head. Uh, he, he, he didn't finish sentences. He didn't, uh, you know, pretty <laughs> just have to go with the flow. F and the first uh, 10 days, as you remember, uh, 12 days, we start to go over budget, over schedule, over everything. And, and Terry came to me and said, I really care for you, but you've got to let me stop the movie for 12 days to reorganize the whole thing. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said the famous word, trust me. <laughs> and I had no choice, and actually, it came out great. He is in love with making movies. Uh, Terry had seen uh, a TV show that I was doing. It was very, very popular in England. It was called Soap. And uh, <laughs> I, I played a kind of wacky character in that. <laughs> and uh, that's what he was looking for, somebody that could just go with whatever he wanted and to change on the spur of the moment and to be in uh, to be in love with what they were doing because he's so in love with the uh, the work that he does I played Mrs. Ogre in Time Bandits he called and said did he had another film called Brazil I said wonderful we're going to Brazil <laughs> And he said, what? And I said, we're going to Brazil? And he said, no. What gave you that idea? <laughs> and I, I said, well, the name of the movie is Brazil. And he said, oh, yeah, that has nothing to do with it. It's impossible to describe the movie. But I asked him, what really do you want to do? And he said, there is something called Brazil. And I said, Brazil, what? Documentary? He said, no, no, Brazil is a song, which you know, which uh, describes escape uh, and beautiful things. And um, I said, oh, it's interesting. Uh, tell me a little more. <laughs> and he started to tell me images of eyeballs, of women flying with blonde hair and short hair and this and... Uh, but I was watching him, and I realized I'm not actually following the story, <laughs> but I'm following the passion of a man who is totally dedicated to something that I, I knew what it was about. It was about, actually, the ability to escape through your mind, uh, even if you're tied to a chair and, and tortured. Um, and there was love little other things in it. But uh, I know that the next morning I woke up and I called my lawyer and said, you know, I just committed to finance <laughs> this movie. <laughs> he said, what is it called? I said, I think it's called Brazil. <laughs> and <laughs> I said, did with whom? I said, to, uh, Terry, he said, do you know him? I said, well, I just <laughs> met him in the bar. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and I said, um, can you tell me the story? I said, I actually don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's going to be great. The commitment that he makes, I if something goes wrong, everything's okay, don't worry, don't worry. He keeps telling, patting people on the back and saying, don't worry. Don't worry, and everybody's frowning and thinking, how are we going to get out of this? 
of, of all the work I've done, the most chaos I was ever in was with Terry Gilliam. The most fun I ever had was with Terry Gilliam. And at the end of the project, I was so proud, just so proud of the work that was done.